Okay, I'm going to list a TJ tub real quick. This is a 97 Wrangler. Uh, it will work uh, bolt-on applications from 97 to 06. Um, they did a little bit of firewall differences, and when you get into the 01s, 02s, uh, you can still use this tub, but you'll usually have to put a panel in there to cover that hole. Uh, like that one there, you can see it's got the the uh, that covered in, the... the um, Trying to think the heater box has changed on them uh it's easier to go from this tub to that tub versus that to that otherwise you got to cut that out if you got this going an old one but we have both so it's not a, usually a concern if you don't see yours you can see all my tubs we have we're selling them very quickly right now uh we usually we usually will sell out before our winter season just because everybody starting winter projects so if you're looking to do a winter project now is the time um, but we do carry them throughout the winter just so we get we stocked up on some really nice tubs so I'm going to walk you through this one as if you were here in person, then I'll go to the next one. Um, this is kind of a uh, aqua green color, I'd say. Um, its bottom is very clean. I took some photos of it. Uh, real quick, things that will not come with it are the uh, fender supports. These will be pulled off. Um, the fenders on the back, which aren't in great shape either. Anyway, uh, inner fender wells will pull those, and then um, all the plastic pieces, the license plate and everything else. We just have been so busy lately, we haven't been able to strip these all the way down, but for the most part, they're stripped. So if you need those parts, we sell them. Uh, we can work something out with you, not a big deal. They don't fit when we create these things. They do come fully created. Uh, we do need a commercial address or a business. Uh, usually that's not a big deal. Sometimes you can find local shops to ship to if you're gonna be doing this yourself. Or um, we ship to terminals. Uh, our freight company has terminals in each and every state and most cities as well. We ship to Canada. They have terminals there, the direct route to Canada. And you can just pick them up from the terminal. Um, we can do residential delivery most times, but there is a surcharge for residential delivery. Uh, they're all paying the butt to get to uh, a residence. Uh, um, anyway, so uh, let's walk through this. This is all in good shape here, all the way down. Nice, uh, nice through here. It's got a little ding right there. Uh, but you can get access to that from here. Just probably got bumped in the yard. It doesn't go all the way through. Um, this is all nice shape, nice and straight. All the, the corners are in good shape. This is all good. Um, down here, this has got a little dirt on it. It wipes right off though. There's no rust on this thing. Um, at least this side. I'll show you the floorboard on the passenger side where some water sat in it. But it's all surface anyway. You can see up in there, we pull the fender well back just to kind of show you. Um, you can see I can wipe the dirt, okay? No rust there. Um, and then coming back, this is all real nice, clean. These are all running and driving. They come in, you can see them complete there. I mean, I literally do not buy wrecks out of this yard. They come in all complete um, and, uh, and whatnot. So uh, this is all nice and straight. You can see this corner is just as clean. That corner is just clean. We'll take that off um, when we ship it for you. Uh, if anything, we pull off, we're like, oh no, look at that. Trust me, we, we have a very good reputation, we'd let you know, but I'm very confident in these tubs. Uh, this fender well enters already off here. Again, this is just dirt, you can see it wipe away there. Uh, the channels are in great shape, nothing broken off in the bottom, so you'll be able to bolt right to it. It's got a little dimple right here, and it actually comes out this way. Um, so you can push this one back in if you're doing it from this side. Um, and then coming down through here, got a little bit of a chip in the paint there. You can see I can fly, flake that away where that uh, fender extension and then somebody sealed this off. Uh, this actually normally is open. Um, you can see a hole right there. So somebody sealed them off. I usually say to keep holes open on, on Jeeps because they like to drain in there, especially if you have the top off. Uh, up through here is in good shape. Firewall's all nice and clean. Um, that's all good and then your your tub itself uh, paints peeled off in here there's a bare metal that's how clean this thing is um, it's got a uh, little bit of a depression with a roll bar and it probably had a roll bar in it and then one of the guys probably tried to pick it up with our fork and it kind of depressed it there uh, but that should be pretty easy you can get a you can get a bolt in there and pull that if you want to but the roll bar still sat level and that side's fine on it um, the floor is nice and this guy got a little grease on it still, but we got most of it off. You can see it come up there. Bolt holes are good there, and that's nice and flat. Paint's flaking there, obviously. Uh, coming down to your your uh, pass or driver rear, 
This has got a little bit of an up oppression. It's coming up again. It's probably from our forklift. Um, we'll discount this, but I would probably, I'd get something weighted, um, if you can press it or something, and just push right back down. These are, this metal will pop right back down in place, and that will be a really easy, or you don't have to do anything to it. Uh, it's not affecting the roll bar here. That's where that bolt's in. There's no broken holes there. Uh, coming up to your driver's side, this is nice and clean. Bare metal showing here. Definitely want to get it covered, uh, but no rust in there. And that's all the tunnel areas, all nice and clean. And then uh, sometimes these are not looking for a tub. These are helpful videos. We do sell all G parts, as you can see. Axles, you name it, we have it. Frames. Um, there's some surface rust on this side, and there's a little bit of another oppression here, probably again from that forklift. Uh, but what I do with this, there's just none. This does not need to be cut out. You can see nice and round here. There's nothing rotted in here. It's all scale surface area. I get this ground down and put some pour 15 on it. Um, probably I'd coat the bottom of this tub, especially if you're going to end up in the Midwest anyway. Anyway, this is kind of a lengthy video, but I do appreciate your time. Uh, let us know if we can help you with anything. 303-666-9020. Again, that's 303-666-9020. We specialize in CJs and Wranglers all the way up to the current years, but we do do some old Jeepsters, some Wagoneers, some Grand Cherokees, uh, you name it, we have it. So uh, we appreciate the business. Again, that's jeepsunlimited.net. It's a .net, not .com. And uh, you can find most of our used parts online. We're continually updating them. 75,000 used parts, it takes a little while, but we do have a guy doing that full time right now for us. So, And we deliver anywhere in the country. And the shipping is usually included in the price you see unless otherwise specified. So I usually try to build that in for you. Uh, otherwise, I appreciate your time. Thank you.